Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Kedex K-BXRHO8155. This is a gate box, obviously, is what it is. Um, you know, this sort of gate box is going to allow you to install a... Um, well, it's going to allow you to install a lot of different locks, is the bottom line. Obviously, locks that have some sort of access control uh, operating in it, mechanical combination, obviously electronic combination, uh, different sorts of access control locks, this is going to work with. Um, they call it BXRHO, and that RHO is used when they're talking about, you know, a Schlage Rhodes design, inferring the ND series, the electrified stuff. Uh, and obviously other access control locks that go along with, you know, that description of Schleg locks. But this is what's called a, well, this is what some may call a turtle prep. I first heard that referred to many, many years ago as a turtle prep. And when you study it, you kind of use your imagination and see why they call it that. Because it's a turtle prep, you can do Sergeant, Yale, Best, you know, alarm lock. Um, anyone who's making access control locks that require a through bolt and is cylindrical in design, such as this box would require. Lots of room up here to put something, okay? Lots of room to get other stuff installed as well. Um, so let's remove it from the packaging and take a closer look at this right now. Okay, we have this removed from the packaging, <clears throat> and here it is, <clears throat> a large piece of steel. Well, it's actually uh, probably three pieces of steel, I would say. Uh, a couple of pans that have been bent over. This portion here has been bent over. This portion here has been bent over. Uh, steel is obviously sheared. It's probably run into a CNC turret to punch all these holes out, your edge prep. And then the last thing is probably um, just the reinforcement. So they weld that reinforcement in to the pan. It's called the pan because it will literally look like this. And the other pan will sit on top of it. They're literally called pans. At least they are in the door industry. This is no different. This is just a mini door without hinge preps. Um, weld that reinforcement in. Bring the pans together and then weld them. And you can see evidence, of course, of their welding that's been done. This is just typical cold rolled steel. There's nothing special about this steel. It's got a bit of an oil coat on it. That, of course, is by design. It is... What allows it to basically not rust the, you know, the minute that it leaves, you know, the mill where the steel is made. So a little bit of oil there, and that's what's going to happen. Uh, 14 gauge uh, steel. Let's switch to before. Actually, I was going to say let's switch to the camera view. But before we do that, let's check the dimensional properties. They've got this at 15 and a half inch tall. That's the case. Um, and by the way, this weighs 6.45 pounds. The overall width of the unit you can see it about eight inch maybe just shy this is going to be at a two and three quarter back set as you can see this is going to be from the top of the 15 and a half inch unit down to the center line looks like we're about 10 and a half inch okay uh, that's going to be an inch and an eighth wide by two and a quarter tall edge prep for your uh, latch bolt 832 screws you know, Schlage, many others, Yale, Sargent, it's all going to take that. These little half circle cuts that are here are very typical. Um, you'll find that on all hollow metal doors that are manufactured, those little semi-circle cuts. Uh, because your lock sets have a couple of tangs at the 9 and uh, 3 o'clock position is why that's there. So we've got some dimensional properties. Let's switch to the screen view where we can take a closer look at the uh, supporting documentation. Okay, so here's the item that we're looking at. <clears throat> we have some extended description information here. Two and an eighth inch hole. I did not give you that dimension, but it is indeed a two and an eighth inch cylindrical hole with six through bolt holes around it. Weldable gate box, oversized offset. I'm not sure what oversized offset means. It might be the placement of the hole in the overall arrangement. That ten and a, um, that's interesting because they're saying eleven and a half, and I believe I said ten and a half. 
Yeah, my unit is absolutely 11 and a half, uh, pardon me, 10 and a half inch. So this drawing um, <clears throat> is certainly incorrect or out of date. Let's see if we can discover why that's the case. Okay, so I literally just got off the telephone with the manufacturer. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Rich. Good, good. May I ask you a question? Of course. On the KBX RHO 8155, I received one today through my normal channel of distribution. The top of the unit to the center of the two and an eighth is an inch off of what the factory original document calls out. Has there been a change or is it just a one off error? And I don't, the guy's not going to care if it's at 10 and a half or 11 and a half, but I want to uh, know <laughs> moving forward. Yeah, let me, um, let me pull a cut, let me go grab one real quick and see if there's uh, something, it might be just be a one off. Um, yeah. I haven't heard any issues. Uh, I mean, this is the first time I've heard of the, the 8155 being off. So let me grab one and take a look. Hold on one second. Yes, sir. Rich, sorry about that. I'm back. So let's see sure. here. Uh, so it should be 11 and a half from the top to the center here. It is 10 and a half. Or it is, yep, it is 10 and a half. Interesting. Yeah, this is, uh, that's, a, that's just a mistake. It should be at 11 and a half. Um, let's see. Just pulling up to see how many um, since the last time we've ordered. Um, if there was something something going on here. So we just received this shipment um, of these ones like a month ago. So. Yeah, that is definitely off. That you're the first one to bring it up to us. It should be it should be uh, an inch lower than this. Um, okay, I, I just wanted to know if I needed a new technical drawing. That's all. I'm not, you know, um, I know this is going to work for my guy. Um, you know, you got a mountain, you got, you got a mountain range of real estate on this thing. Yeah, so, you got a ton of room, but yeah, it should. <laughs> it, it, yeah, <laughs> but it should be addressed. I apologize for that, and thank you for bringing it up to us. So um, you betcha. We need to... uh, you guys are every time I call, you guys are spot on, and thank you for your time, Marshall, and have a good one. 
All right. Thank you, Rich. Bye-bye. And as you heard, that's just a one-off mistake. There's certainly no um, long-term problem with it. I don't know how many they brought in. Um, but nonetheless, for this client, I know that that dimension will not um, need to be uh, an issue. I did want to make sure that moving forward, we have the appropriate documentation here uh, for this. And we do. Uh, it'll be 11 and a half moving forward, I imagine. Very helpful and very handy. As I had said in the phone call, there's so much real estate up here, I just can't see it being an issue for this client. And who knows, maybe they've made a change that the customer service rep or the tech support rep was not familiar with. And now all of this has been changed by an inch. Uh, so very helpful, very handy, extended description information here. Uh, along with that is going to be other than the extended description uh, of the dimensional properties, which we've gone over. I didn't, I don't believe I said it was 14 gauge uh, steel, but it is. A cut sheet is here. Okay, that's the stuff we were just looking at. You're going to have a cross-reference guide. Now, the cross-reference guide is handy because it will allow you to look by part number of the lock set that you're working on. So if, our look at, if we're working on an ND53, um, not sure how they're calling it. Let's just go to Schlage. Here we go. So... Schlage comes up, ADAL ND series. That's your part number for ND series. Okay, it's available in aluminum, stainless, along with steel, and you can do them for a two inch thick apparatus. If you were working on something that was indeed two inch thick, you might want to um, purchase the gate box that would be appropriate for that thickness. But the point is, is you can just search by manufacturer, then find the gate part number that you need. Uh, also looking at the gate box catalog, now this is just out of the full line catalog that will allow us that will allow us to review all of the other possible gate weldable gate boxes from Keydex. A lot of the same information just represented now in a listing of the gate box uh, products that they have available. So if you're looking for other gate boxes, this might be a nice place to look. I did just have a client order earlier today the jig that's used for installing this material. It's nice to not have to have three arms all the time and do so in such a way without tack welding part of your thumb to the gate structure by having it just simply held on. Super, super nice to be able to do that. Okay. We don't sell them often. It's because these things probably last forever. Now, also here, there's a link to the manufacturer's page. Okay. There, you're going to be able to pull up not only all of the Keydex products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Now, the name Keydex is synonymous with products beyond weldable gate boxes, but if you probably know them for anything, it's likely weldable gate boxes. But you might also know them for their armored door loops. It's flexible conduit that's quarter inch or three eighths that you can pass low voltage wires through. Available in a couple of different mounting types, both the small little clips and then the larger box mounting points uh, on their door loops. Page 18, we'll scroll down and get to there. Okay. Larger mount points, the smaller points that are here. You can order it in pre-manufactured lengths, finishes, or you can buy it in bulk. I've had a client uh, uh, not too terribly long ago order a couple of spools of the material because they had 90 doors to do, um, and that's what it was. It was it was quarter-inch spool, uh, typical um, aluminum conduit, uh, and then they went with the end caps, the stainless end caps, rather than these rectangular bases. So very helpful uh, there. So this catalog, though, will allow you to review what else it is that Keydex is known for. Uh, and that, of course, is many things locksmithing related. So if you are a locksmith and you service your clients using a weldable gate box or you do some access control integration, you might want to know about what else Keydex does, a variety of locksmithing tools as we scroll through here. A lot of unique solutions and you get into the world of 
blacksmithing tools and the companies who offer them, you will find unique solutions. Um, change key sets, I, you know, not infrequently sell a change key or a change key set when you want to change the combination of a safe lock. Um, Mosler, Sargent and Greenleaf, Lagarde, Diebold, you know, these are, I'm not an expert when it comes to safes, but I've used safe change keys in the past and have an understanding principle of how it all works. They also get into a lot of uh, templates to allow you to help do the, pro the process of what it is that you do to integrate electric strikes or locks into aluminum storefront. Cylinder collars, you can see, door protectors, a variety of other items that I'll leave to your discretion to be able to scroll through that. Okay, let's uh, wrap up this video on camera. Now, in conclusion, that small difference in dimension aside, not a big deal, I don't believe, for this client. Uh, they've got plenty of real estate up here to get that lock installed. We're not even going to bring it to their attention, quite frankly. Um, actually, no, we're going to bring it to their attention. We're going to make sure that they're okay with it before we ship, is the bottom line. There is a deviation. We're going to make sure that all parties involved are okay with the deviation. The thickness I didn't give you. This ought to be about inch and three-quarter. It might be a little heavy. It's not. It's right on an inch and three quarter. Okay, so you'll have no trouble with any of that. Again, two and a quarter, inch and an eighth, two and an eighth inch is this size. So when you're integrating some access control, this could be a very appropriate big piece of real estate to get your hardware installed onto your locks. Obviously, drilling a hole somewhere, if you're doing electronic uh, access control, you're going to need to drill a hole through the back of the box somewhere connect your conduit and, and and there you go and if you need flexible conduit obviously not exterior rated at all um, this would be for interior applications but you will see these gate boxes used in interior applications um, if you have a gate structure in a manufacturing plant and you have literally built a um, security area where items are stored such as such as serialized inventory or material of high value. You could easily have an interior area that has perforated metal, a welded gate structure, tossing one of these on there. Yeah, absolutely. So the bottom line is, however, why would you buy this? Well, the reason you would is because the cost of this item is arguably substantially less expensive than the cost of you trying to make one. That's just the bottom line. <clears throat> the people that order these, the people that install these, they have the skill set to make these. They also have the skill set to understand that their time is not worth it. And that's that's why they will always order this material pre-manufactured. Only in a pinch will someone try to make their own. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's just too long and too expensive. If you have any questions on the Kedex, K-BXRHO-8155 oversized box for lever sets with room to customize for standalone access control or any other Kedex product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.